Another episode of Five Minutes to Move. This is all about the workup, creating bad positions, and stretching them out. First things first, down on the ground. Down dog position. Press your head to your feet, press the earth away, and get your heels down. All right, we're gonna breathe in as we go back, and breathe out as we come forward. Back the other way, actually. We're gonna breathe out as we go back, breathe in as we go forward. Big breath in. Make sure you're paying attention to me. <laughs> Big breath in. I like to put in a little slack, you know, just making sure you're on your toes. Brain training with Khan. Two more. Make sure you're pushing yourself up like a happy turtle at the top. Don't be a sad turtle. <laughs> happy turtle at the top. Breathe out as we go back. Big breath in. Beautiful from here. Just walk your feet up slowly to your hands so you get a bit more of a hamstring stretch. And standing tall. A bit wider with your feet. Hands interlock behind. And squeeze back. You get a bit of a crack. Good. What we're trying to do is get our triceps and elbows together. We're going to fold our head to the ground. Now, if you need to, you can have soft knees. We go for 10 reps. This is going to help stretch out all that nastiness that gets tight when we're sitting. Three. Good. Try and turn into a tomato at the top. Good. And our aim here is to get our pinky fingers down to the ground over our head. I've lost count. Let's go for one more. Beautiful. Now from here, a bit of stability and balance work. And this is going to train our hips, make you feel better as you're sitting down. So we go ankle on our knees, down, 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 stretch, and back up. Just eight here. Now make sure as we go down, we're pushing this knee down to the ground actively so that we get a stretch in your butt cheek. Lost count again, let's go one more. All right, other side, same thing. Push that knee down. Find the stability. Bad on this side. <laughs> so don't do this <laughs> like card. I need to work on this one. <laughs> Good. Stretch, 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 stretch. Beautiful. Good. Now next one, nice and dynamic. What we're going to do is keep our eyes forward, chest forward, but our hands go back behind us. Other hand goes in our belly run. Here, here. Here, so we're trying to just get a nice stretch down our chest. Here, as we bring those hands back, palm up, thumb back. <sighs> Breathe, keep going here, switch on that upper back as we create the movement, stretch out that chest. <sighs> to do good dynamic stretches, generally we need to be moving for at least 30 seconds to a minute. We're gonna go a little bit longer, 10 seconds, keep throwing those hands back, let that stretch come about. All right, shake out those arms. Last one, down on our knee, and what we're gonna be doing is our couch stretch, but pulsing. So we're gonna push forward, back up, push forward, back up, and we're gonna look for different ranges in the hip, because the hip gets tight all around here, not just one line, we wanna find all those bits and pieces. We can push out to the side, we can push forward, as we do it, be aware of your abs, but with this one, we can loosen up that back a little bit more because we just want to get those hips stretching out. So keep finding different positions, reaching as well. We can start to twist if you want to. Just keep pulsing, finding that tightness. When you find a part where you're like, yep, that particular position hurts a lot more, what you can do is just keep hitting that position a little bit more because it obviously needs a bit more work. All right, other side, same amount of time. This side, find those positions, find that tightness, move around. You're trying to open up through that hip. Keep being aware of that glute. Five more. 
Boom. Now you're ready to go back to work. You'll feel nice and loose.